Hey everybody, it's Michael here, and today I've just got a quick unboxing video. What I have here is something I've been uh, pretty excited about getting that showed up a little while ago. This is a Mendelmax 2 to Mendelmax 3 conversion kit, and this came from Makers Toolworks, the maker of the Mendelmax series. And uh, just like it says, uh, this kit is intended to take a Mendelmax 2, and if you saw my review and my previous unboxing of the Mendelmax 2, you know, that was a printer that I really thought did a great job but uh, wasn't quite everything that I think it, was, it had hoped to be. It had some really uh, aggressive and ambitious design goals, and just the finished product just wasn't quite there. So I'm actually really excited because I think this one is going to uh, really um, clear up some of those issues that I had with the Mental Max 2, and I think the Mental Max 3 is really a very, very promising looking design. The two big things that uh, this is going to do, one is it uh, converts from well, what the Mental Max 2 used as its bearing system, which was a car in slot system, and it turns it into the um, Delrin wheel in extrusion uh, system, which is what I've been using on the Maker Farm i3Vs lately, and I really think that is uh, rapidly becoming my favorite method of, uh, of, of running bearings on 3D printers. The other thing this one uh, is going to have in it is two, count them, two E3D version 6 extruders. So that's right, this is actually a dual extrusion conversion as well as the upgrade to the uh, to the new bearings of the Mendel Max 3. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what's inside. And I have not opened this previously. The only thing I've done is crossed out my address so that no one can send me anything weird without my prior approval. And let's just get this open. Okay, what's in the box? Okay, and we've got an, an invoice right here. We've got some plastic packing peanuts. And uh, one thing that I gotta say, I was impressed with the uh, Mental Max 2 is that it did come very logically packed. And this what, this upgrade kit appears to be um, uh, very similar. Here we have what looks like some Bowden tubing. Okay, we'll set that aside. We've got uh, again some of these plastic uh, packing peanuts right here. We've got a we've got a motor, and this is most likely I think going to be for the uh, second extruder. Let's see if that one. Oh, no, this is not a geared motor, so this might be a some other kind of replacement. We'll have to see exactly what that is. Okay, we've got a box right here, which is going to include. Oh, take a look at this. Here we have. Uh, oh, what is this? Okay, this looks like a. Uh, Possibly a heated bed relay, and we've got a we've got some fans. Okay, interesting, uh, not the typical fans I'm used to seeing. Okay, cool. And oh yeah, we have an on-off switch for the Mental Max Three. That is quite cool. Okay, so we got some electronic parts, and I have to admit I'm going to have to look up and see just what all those are. Not all of those are readily apparent to me right at first. Now this is readily apparent to me right at first though. This is an E3D version six all metal hot end, and uh, you can see that is really quite lovely right there. I've been a big fan of E3D for a long time and I'm really looking forward to using the version 6 which I've not had a chance to check out yet. Okay, we have another motor. It looks like we have another motor mount. So this looks like this is going to be for an extruder. And moving right along here. What else have we got? Okay, we've got another uh, deluxe upgrade wiring kit here. Okay, I see we've got some uh, Z connectors. We've got some bearings and a few looks like machine parts and a wiring kit okay that's gonna be cool here's the other e3d and it does come with its own wiring setup again looks like we've got a uh, nice mount for it right there we've got uh, yeah this is a looking forward to that dual extrusion i think is really going to be a lot of fun to play with and we've got some uh looks like these are some printed parts and there's going to be obviously mechanical mounting parts and we have a whole bag full of all the new bearings and all the Delrin wheels that we're going to use as we convert away from the car and slot bearing system to the Delrin wheel and extrusion uh, method. And we've got some more. Okay, this looks like a mount for an extruder. And, okay, ooh, this is some pretty heavy parts right here. These are going to be some of the structural parts that are going to replace the... Uh, uh, the cut aluminum parts that were with the um, uh, the Mendel Max 2 as part of the conversion. And okay, we have a new. Oh wow, this is this appears to be a powder coated. Um, this is this has got to be a bed mount right here. And uh, yeah, this looks like this is going to be. Uh, so yeah, I see three points for adjustment there at least. Okay, this is going to be a nice nice upgrade. I had a little bit of trouble keeping the um, on the Mendel Max 2 keeping the one I had flat. And okay, another uh, okay. And as usual, uh, Maker's Toolworks has always included what I thought were really high quality um, 
stainless steel hardware parts, and this appears to be no exception here. This stuff looks very nice, very high quality fasteners. Uh, okay, and we've got some, honestly, I'm not quite sure exactly what this is. This is obviously some part of the structure, and th these appear to be plastic. And uh, yeah, we will find out what those are as this gets built. Okay, removing the plastic peanuts. Okay, here we have all of our extrusions, and these do appear to be, uh, let's see, yeah, this looks like these are 15 millimeter, and these look like Masumi extrusions. I'm not sure if these are open beam or if these are Masumi's. Um, in any case, both the open beam and the Masumi are very similar in their in their structure, so we'll uh, certainly keep you advised as to how those go together and exactly what we've got there. Okay, here's going to be our threaded rods, and these look uh, again to be, um, oh, these are very, uh, the pitch on these is quite a bit different. So this is, I don't know if you can see that in the camera though, this is, yeah, this is going to be, a, this is going to be a very fast z-axis right here with that very steep pitch right there. And uh, yeah, so it looks like we've got a couple other metal brackets there. And then... Okay, we've got a couple other plates. So this really does appear to be a complete restructuring. This, uh, I'm going to make a wild guess. This is the uh, the front plate and the back plate that hold the structure together. And then we've still got a big piece of something on the bottom here. Okay, and this is going to be okay. <clears throat> this is going to be obviously where the power supply mounts and uh, probably where the uh, um, or possibly where a Rambo would mount as well. Okay, and that right there is. So that's what we've got. Let me uh, stack this all up and, uh, and get another good look at what exactly it is that you're getting here in your upgrade kit. We've got our. I'll just get the. I'm going to have to just put this back in the box. I think for now. Okay, so we've got all our metal parts. They're going to go to uh, upgrading our printer to the latest and greatest Mendel Max Three. We've got a bed right here. We've got these two beautiful E3D version six hot ends. I'm really excited about this. Uh, one thing that is also going to be part of a uh, this is going to be a little bit new for me that um, this in order to do the dual extrusion you're, uh, you really are, are um, sort of limited to 1.75 uh, millimeter filament, which is something that's I've normally been a three millimeter guy, but so this is going to be a new adventure for me here as well. And so yeah, we got another piece of the Bowden tubing here. So this is going to be a very exciting build. And so far. This kit does look to be uh, filled with some very high quality materials, and I am really looking forward to uh, getting this together and letting you guys know how this works with the dual extrusion and the new bearing system. <clears throat> and there it all is back in the box. So once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Michael, and we will see you next time. And I certainly will have a uh, full review of how this printer works out uh, in its revised state. So once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.